Hey guys and welcome back to the Schneids 15 channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on uh, the Suzuki King Quad again. What I have done here is purchased this box which inside we have a carburetor. I have always have questions on carburetors on these things uh, whether it be OEM, Chinese, anything. Uh, about carburetors people always have issues so with the carburetor off here this is a brand new carburetor I can go over some stuff show you how it works a little bit and uh, we're just gonna test to see because I've had so many people say should I put one of these Chinese ones on or an OEM one because an OEM one's hundreds of dollars and this Chinese one here I think it showed up to my door for around seventy dollars everything looks identical on it so uh, what we're going to do in this first video today before we put it on the ATV, I'm just going to show you guys the differences and see if I would even recommend one of these before we run it. So this will be part one. Uh, but it comes with uh, everything. comes with a filter even, the cover and everything in here. I believe it comes with some different jets and stuff. We're going to look at it all and, and show you what all comes in the kit here. And uh, we're just going to do a review on these Chinese carburetors and and let you guys know how it works on the actual ATV when we go to put it on. All right, so first off, we're gonna start off with what's in the kit here. Uh, so it comes with a filter, which you can use if you want. The quality doesn't look that bad, but this is up to you. There's no barbs on, there's no barbs on the filter, so something to think about. Uh, comes with some washers. I'm not sure what those are for. Actually, no, they're probably for each one of these screws where it goes into your side cover here. And it comes with a, no, a ring for around it, which is formed. That's actually pretty decent quality, it feels like. So, uh, throw that to the side. Uh, this is a different choke adapter for in here, which we're not going to be using either or of these because ours are plastic and thread in. This is a better design than the Suzuki. But uh, ours are plastic and flimsy. If I can figure out how to adapt it, I will. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's the parts that come with it. We're going to dump it all in here. Uh, oh, it comes with the brass piece that goes on the bottom of your throttle cable, uh, which are always fun to get on. And yeah, that's that's it. So... First off, we're going to pull off the top of this carburetor and see what it looks like inside. But uh, now that this is out of the bike for all my subscribers that use these uh, King Quads and people that were asking me about uh, overflows versus vacuums. So these right here with the caps on them, these are your vac or your overflows right here these two brass ones here uh that's your fuel inlet choke right here is your vacuum line and uh on the suzuki you'll have one up in here somewhere that's plastic and it's the vacuum line but this one doesn't have it so if you have that secondary fuel pump on your pet cock and you haven't bypassed it you won't have a tit for one of those on here. You're only going to have one barb for the big fuel pump, which is all I have. So this carburetor eliminates that other one, which is all right in my case, but we'll point that out now. So uh, anyways, let's uh, start by disassembling this top here. Just grab your uh, Phillips head here and uh, we'll take this off and inspect the diaphragm and I'll give you my opinion on what I think it it is uh, quality wise. So we'll go to pull this off. So as always we have our spring, which is actually a tighter tolerance than Suzuki, you can't get the spring to stay on there Suzuki. Uh, then we got our plastic piece in here. This is different than Suzuki, but that's fine, it doesn't really affect the design. The Suzuki is just a washer that is flared on both sides and this has a piece that actually fits into the spring here like that which isn't a big deal um, diaphragm you'll notice on the Suzuki there's a jut out on the side of this to sh so you can distinguish where it goes which is right here but uh, this one's different uh, 
overall this diaphragm actually feels like pretty good material guys uh, this is machined nicely in here the aluminum uh, so no complaints so far uh, everything's good there Let's see what our needle looks like here so it's got oh it's got one two three it's got it's got four adjustments on the top of the pin and then your plastic washer um, so that's not bad we'll put that back in there um, as far as when we go down here the Suzuki's all metal in here this is actually like a I don't know it's almost composite plasticky stuff so that's nice it should slide well in there and be nice and tight it'll keep it from binding if it's war so that's a good design actually I like that uh, our jet doesn't look like it has any numbers on it there so we'll deal with that after but as far as down here I'm pretty happy with that we're gonna put that back together yeah it, it this really does fit in there nice guys and it's a lot thicker than the Suzuki one to be honest uh, make sure that lines up on top of the there there it is and then we'll put our cap back on there there we go Alright, so before we get to the bottom side, we're just going to actually pull out this choke to see what it looks like. Uh, and of course it's right there. 12 millimeter. We'll pull that out. There we go. So in there we got a spring. I bet there's a choke. Oh, good. Even comes with a plunger. That actually doesn't look too bad. Rubber in there. Everything looks pretty good there. Um, ours is different how we got the plastic design with the cable, but I'm wondering if you can get a threaded cable, thread it into there, put it on here, then you don't got any of those loose plastic connections like the Suzuki one. Uh, so that would be a benefit. I'm gonna try and mess around with that. We'll let you guys know when we go to put it on the ATV if it uh, is different. But uh, for now, we'll just put this back on. It there. there we go. Now we'll flip this over, take that tube off. That's just a drain tube. Uh, right here on the Suzuki's, you're going to have a piece that'll wrap around and then go to the side so you can actually turn your idle up from the ATV. Um, so, this you'll be able to reach in there still and get that. Not the best, but uh, you can always use the one off of your OEM carbon put it on. I'm going to try this one because mine doesn't even have one of these. It actually just has somebody ram the brass jet in here, a long one, and they're using that because mine had been gutted and through owners, that's just what it ended up with. So this is actually an upgrade for me. But getting to the bottom here again, Phillips, all these are in there pretty tight actually. Pull those off and we're going to check out in here see what all of our designs are for our float look like and uh, check that all out so we're just pulling this off now there we go last bolt uh, oh it's all oiled up in there actually smells like Kind of smells like uh, like Coleman fuel, like naphtha gas there. Really distilled fuel. I don't know if that's what they oil it with or that's what they clean it with or what, but it's all oiled in there. O-ring fitment looks good. Everything looks good there. Uh, as far as the getting into here, our float's a little bit uh, cheap, guys, I would say. I mean... All it's got to do is go up and down, so it's not a huge difference. But it's got the nice pin that just slides in. 
when we get into uh, here, let me just change the angle here a bit. Uh, pull this off. It's all right. It's a little, little flimsy, but not bad. Oh, our needle's nice. It looks like it's got a nice seat on it. Almost looks like they spun it in there just to give it a good seat. Either way, that doesn't look too bad at all. So the little spring-loaded thing on top of it all seems to work. Uh, our jetting here. So I've had issues with these for uh, jetting, and they usually run too lean, guys. So we're just gonna see what these say. So uh, coming to this first jet. wasn't really tight so it's good we pulled that out nice copper washer on it it's a 1 for it's a 145 in there so it's a decent size uh, mine had a, they have a 130 in them from factory I think or a 125 some of the kits come with so this is a little rich but you know what it might not run bad because I know there's jet kits for these that you can give them a bit more fuel and 145 might not be too bad all right so we're gonna throw that back in there one thing you'll notice is that this emulsion tube here uh, it actually slides in there I don't know if you guys can see that but right there I'm sliding it with my finger inside the carb so I couldn't get the jet on and I was wondering why it wouldn't grab with the threads and I didn't lose any pieces so that actually slides up and down and the jet holds it in place so we're just gonna make sure that we get that tight this time because it wasn't that tight so That'd be a good thing to remember. So, there we go, that's tight now. Uh, that 145, we'll see how that works. Uh, we're gonna check out, see what our small jet is here now. These are actually funny jet to get out, guys, because they got such a wide blade on them and uh, they got such a wide blade on the top of your jet here so the small screwdrivers usually don't fit it so I've had to take a bigger screwdriver and gr grind down the sides on it to fit in there uh, but this one doesn't give a size either so I'm just gonna go with it I guess so we'll put that back in there Tighten it up. As far as our uh, idle jet here, to it was supposed to the factory setting for these is two and five eighths turns out. It was about three, I'd say, so that's not bad. We're gonna pull it out and take a look at it though, because these things are usually funny with the springs how they work, and we're just gonna see how how they have it designed in here. All looks well. Uh, spring on it. Everything looks fine. Bore there. So we're gonna throw that back in. I believe the spec is about uh, is two and five eighths turns. So that's what we're gonna do. Just watch the tips on these guys because they can break really easy. So just you just want to bottom out and then go back. So there we go, there's half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and then five eighths. We're going to go about two and three quarters, run it a little bit richer. So uh, yeah, there there we go. Um, we're just going to throw back our needle into there. It's one of the good ones without rubber, so the ethanol won't affect it. Throw our float back in here. our rod back in there and there we go so we're ready to just throw this back on here and uh, actually 
throw this back and then I'm just going to tell you my uh, my opinion on this carburetor. One more thing we're going to check here before we go is just to put these on and make sure they're snugged up. They're a little bit loose there. But uh, I already gave them a little snug there. But uh, just make sure those will, uh, are good because those will make a nightmare of your engine real quick if one of those butterfly screws had come out. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that video wasn't too lengthy, but I wanted to show you uh, a good review of it because there, I haven't found any online. Every spec I found in this thing, like the 2 and 5 eighths turns out from Suzuki, it was set around 3, which would have been fine probably. And uh, so I set it at about 2 and 3 quarters, I usually go about that. And uh, everything else, uh, that one main jet was a little bit loose, so it was good to check over it first before putting it in the ATV. Uh, it's got the bigger jet, so I'm curious actually to see what it'll run like with that big jet in it. Uh, you can always lean it out up here with your rod. Uh, we'll we'll see how it goes though. But uh, otherwise, guys, the quality of this thing seems pretty good. Uh, as far as not knowing uh, how, how to uh, test it to see how it actually runs on the bike, I would say go ahead and buy one of these. I'm going to rate one of these. So far, I would rate it as a yes to go buy one of these over a Makuni because I really like this and uh, it's it's brand new for 80 bucks. I mean, it shows up at your door. I'll post the Amazon link in the description, but uh, yeah, like everything seems well uh, except like even it comes with all the pieces like the spare pieces for your choke it comes with it comes with everything guys so i'm really i'm actually really impressed by it so it was a lot better than i was expecting i was thinking of dimply castings and stuff i haven't found any dimples in this casting at all like everything seems really good so again really impressed guys and uh i hope this video did help you and uh if it did stay tuned for part two because or if you're just curious stay tuned for part two because i'm going to be throwing it on the gray king quad if you're a subscriber of mine or the brownish whatever color you want to call that so that's what we're going to be putting it on and testing it on uh so stay tuned for part two we'll uh probably upload this one this week and that one next week uh, but yeah stay tuned guys thanks for watching as always guys thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe if my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.